Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Well, welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Guys, don't come back again. I told myself that they go out matters to play for Nigeria. I did to bring a couple of doorstep, we're gonna say it is the unfold. Without wasting much of that time. Guys, not be small thing. I told us this protest, eh? This protest not be small thing. See, the full Nigeria don't they shake now. Bola men 15 people and the people they don't they fear. Guys, make show and see video with the background now. And I go see play some for now. Make my see what if Bola met if you put on the zoo. Bola met if you put on the same troops. They go Lagos. They go different state for Nigeria there. May they go march everywhere because of the protests where they come on the 29th of July. Hey God. Like I don't get it. Now so we're going to continue like this. Like the country go there in big mess. The leaders don't want to do anything. And when the youth go come outside to say they want protest, you go see these same people. We still come outside and be threatening them. Oh man, see, you know, I know what they are people. Say this time, our youth, eh, they don't wake up. They don't wake up. Guys, make I just give them time. Play the video. See what they happen. Bola and men, if you don't no fear, in they send soldiers. They send Mopo police, DSS. May they go shut down places for Lagos and other states for Nigeria there. See, I won't see how many people, I won't give a RIP. Because Nigeria, Nigeria not be the Nigeria where you and me know. Not be be again. Nigeria don't change. Take your time and watch this video. Just look at the handwork of Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu. Look at what this man is doing. Look at what Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu is doing. If this man not the fear, why send it troops to shut down all these places? Watch video, they will come back. work of Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu. Bola, I told you guys that Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu said anybody that will come outside to come and protest, they will death with them. And any protester, they arrest in this protest, they are not going to bail anybody. Like Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, you are just playing. Just the play. You see, eh, we are telling you now, how many people can you buy in Nigeria? No, we want to know how many people you can buy in Nigeria. Because now, the way the country is now, everybody, we are fed up, we are tired. Everybody wants to be our happy now. Now, come and buy everybody. You are sending Nigeria police, even these police, these soldiers, are you guys not ashamed of yourself? Are you guys not seeing what is going on in the country? Hunger has taken over the full country. Hunger has taken over the full country. People cannot feed. People, in short, a lot of things is going on in the country. A lot of, you know, wrong things is going on in the country. That Bola Amen, 15 Ibu refused to fix. Now you are telling me not to come outside to protest. Bola Amen, 15 Ibu, we want to see how many people can you arrest this time? We want to see how many people you can arrest this time. Because we cannot condone this nonsense. So you can sit down in your comfort zone and be looting money, be stealing money, but you don't care about the masses in the country. Minimum wage, you want to put minimum wage in 70,000 Naira. When you know that the country, things are expensive in Nigeria, 70,000 Naira is not even enough for civil servant and salary. It's not enough. 
It's not enough. Bola Ahmed 15 Ibu. And you said nobody should come outside and protest. Bola Ahmed 15 Ibu, go arrest, go tire now. Una go arrest, una go tire. Because gone on those days, we be say, we the fear. See, anything we want to produce protesting, na na it will happen. Because we don't give, we don't give you a chance. Bring down the fuel subsidy. Eh, you know if you bring that fuel subsidy. Systemize dollar rates in the country. Eh, dollar, every day dollar they high. Like, how can people, you know, move on in the country? People cannot move on. Things they had every day. Tell me how people want to move on for such country. And when people come outside to protest, you go say me they bring their head come, but you cut and come out. Me, I won't see how many people head you won't cut come on this time. Yes, now me, I won't see how many people you walk by this time. Me, I won't see all those DSS, Nigeria police, soldier. Me, I won't see if those guys they are not feeling the heat in that country. Soldier came out one time to tell the world that oh. Ah, I was about to travel to my place, you know, Christmas period. Oh, I want to travel to my hometown, but the salary I'm receiving eh, is 50,000 naira, and my transport fare is 70,000 naira. I was like, really? Do you guys know what happened? That soldier that came out to talk about the money that they are paying them. Do you guys know what happened to him? They arrested him. They put him under the ground. Where they locked Boko Haram and all these terrorists. That's where they went and locked that soldier. Just because the guy came out to tell the world that, oh, he don't have money to go back to his hometown. He loved to visit, visit his family, but there is no money. And he said they only paid them 50,000 naira. Soldier. So if any soldier come outside now to tell Nigeria citizens to step back that nobody should protest, see? You guys don't even know what is wrong with you guys for real. If you guys know what is wrong with you, you will allow Nigerians to come outside and do the protest because nobody got to disturb anybody at all. Because we are fed up. We are tired. We cannot continue like this. Enough is enough. The hunger is karaoke every day. Nothing is working. Minimum wage is not minimum wage. Like, it's hard. It's hard. We have the elite who is enjoying the money. Their children are out there enjoying a basically everything. Just their family alone. Why the citizens, they are crying daily. People are being ROIP just because of this wicked government. And you said when anybody come outside to protest, you will bring those persons down. We want to say you're going to arrest everybody, but I met people. This is not answers that you guys arrested and you send your talks, you send your people to destruct the protest. We want to see how you guys are going to destroy. See, anyways, guys, let me just come first. I'll come back for more videos because you see this protest. I know I understand I'm in holiday, but I still try to squeeze myself to give you guys updates. Yeah, I try to squeeze myself to see. I can give you guys update to let you guys know what is going on in Nigeria. But please help me share this video. I have more videos. What happened at the parliament? I will bring it for you guys to see what they said here. Yeah. Guys, Nigeria, you see those politicians, they are wicked. They are really wicked. They know what they are doing. They don't want protest. They don't want protest. That is why you see Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu is bringing our troops, taking them to different places. To show that all this, but I mean, if you send the go Lagos, so send the go here, send the, see, it not shake us, it not shake us. We must do what we want to do. As far as we don't dead there, we must do what we want to do. Every join grand, but I mean, if you move, we move like we move. We are outside already, bro. We are outside, we are not inside. We're going to shut it down. We want to see what you guys are going to do because this time, everybody in the country, we are tired. If you want to buy everybody, see, this is the time for you guys to buy. In short, buy everybody in the food and six states. Buy all of us. Our mama, our papa, our brother, our sister. They are all tired. They are all tired. So we cannot continue like this. We can't continue like this, Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu. Enough is enough. Guys, let me hand this video a comment, please. Please share this video, I beg you. Share this video. Give this video a thumbs up. This protest, we're going to march down. 
we're going to shut down Nigeria. We are going to shut down Nigeria. No matter the circumstances that we hold our way, we bruise all of them. We will shut down Nigeria. You see that? July 29. Bro, that day is our day. Revolution will take place that day. I swear to God, revolution will take place that day. That's how we end this video. Come peace. Please help to share this video as you do so. God bless you. I'll see you guys on my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye bye.